Alright, we look good? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome back to You're In Luck. We're going to be doing something special today. I got my friend Riley here, and I got an assistant who's hiding over there. I'm not hiding. I'm resting. She's resting. Okay. Alright, let's bring you guys over here. Come check this out. We are going to be doing a amp and sub install on his, what is this, 2003, 2004, yeah. 2004 Buick Regal RS, or LS, LS. <laughs> keep thinking Rally Sport, it's a Rally Sport. Alright, so what are we working with here? Let's see, open up that box right there. This guy? Yeah. <laughs> We're still waiting on the on a couple other things. We're waiting for a line out converter. So this is gonna be like a multi-day thing. Alright. And what is this? Let's see here. X8. So we got a sundown X8 here. This is a V2 D3, I believe. V point three. Yeah, it's a V3. So it's a D2 V3. Dual four ohms. We're gonna be wiring this thing up with two ohms. So, all right. So we went with eight inch because we kind of want to keep the trunk space. Cause he likes using the trunk, you know, carry his chainsaws and all kinds <laughs> of cool shit like that. Uh, okay, so the amplifier, we got it. SAE 1500D. This is a mono block. It's all brand new, we went with a brand new speaker, brand new amplifier. So this speaker is actually 800 watts RMS, that's what they rated at, and this amplifier is 800 watts at 2 ohm, so it should be perfect. It should be absolutely perfect, it should be a perfect setup. So today, we're going to be building a box for the sub. So we're gonna be doing like a full install on this car. There's no amplifier in here. We're gonna to have to run a power wire. We're gonna do everything. We're gonna run a line out per converter. We're gonna build a box. We're gonna test stuff. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do the whole shindig. So what else we have here? For this setup, we don't wanna get power hungry. So we got, let's see here. We got 25 feet of real, legit four gauge. Got this stuff from Napa. It was about $60 for 25 feet. We got some battery terminals. We got a 100 amp uh, circuit breaker instead of a fuse. And a couple other stuff in there, some electrical tape. Let's see, we got, got some Sundown RCAs. Kind of overpriced, but... Yeah, yeah. There's a name brand RCAs, but whatever, right? <laughs> Six feet of those. Um, we got some fiberglass resin for our box. We're gonna coat the inside of the box with that, make it nice and smooth, optimize your sound. This is a level control for the amp. Got some glue for the box. And we got some wiring. 14 gauge. 14 gauge. We got our sawhorses, and then we're gonna be building a box out of... We got some 3 fourths of an inch MDF. This is the good stuff. I've built a box before and this is what I use and it works great. And this is exactly what you should use to build a box. Okay. So, there we go. You got anything else to add? No. Nope. Alright, that's it. We're going to get started. We're going to go get our uh, box calculations. We did them using a RE box calculator. I'll put that in the description. It works great and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get started now all right so here are box specs these are going to be a rough estimate because these are the specs for a um, for an l-shaped box but we're gonna do like a zigzag and we're gonna also be doubling up the MDF. Blee, blee, blah 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 draw out all of our measurements on the wood and then we're gonna get to cutting and we'll see you then. So here's 
what we got. We got all our boards <coughs> marked, measured. Still got two more, but we're gonna have to cut these out first and uh, line things up before we get our last two. All right, let's get to cutting. You're supposed to hold it. <laughs> I have a mask. You got me a mask, man? Always get yourself a buddy. <laughs> So, there it is. There's all of our planks, uh, except for two. We're gonna need one more port, but we're gonna have to wait for that measurement until we put all these together. And then uh, another one for the front face to make it nice and strong. All right, so after we did all our cuts and stuff, and we mopped, mocked it up, and as you can see, we got this massive gap here. So if we put this over, it looks like the gap continues. So we're going to take this this front panel here and we're going to sand it down with our good old Ryobi sander. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to drill our, our holes and we're going to put it together with the, with our screws, with our wood screws. We're not going to glue it yet, but we're just going to put it together so it'll get our basic shape. And then we're gonna take the sander and sand everything we gotta sand. What's up, man? What's up, homie? After how long? Fucking hours. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and lots of fucking dust. Later. MDF wood is extremely dangerous to work with. Please wear masks and glasses and all that good shit. We uh have our main outside pieces all together. They're just mocked up, held together with uh, wood screws. Um, as you can see, there's. A lot of stuff and some things don't quite line up, so what he's gonna do here, where's it at? Right we got our belt sander. So he's gonna take that belt sander and he's gonna give it shape. It was at this moment that Pasha knew he f***ed up. Fuck! I did the wrong side! You fucking noob. <laughs> you son of a <laughs> Fuck! I did the wrong side. Oh. Shit, I guess we should fucking do it again. Alright. So after a couple hours in hands, we uh, got our stuff beveled pretty nice. Once again, so yeah, now we're ready to go ahead and put them in the box. Keep going at it. Went ahead and took a piece of sandpaper by hand and rounded out the exit for the port. It's looking nice. Get a little chip there, but it'll be all right. We got our uh, ports all in here, mocked up. They're exactly an inch and a half apart. Looking good. 
So now what we're gonna do is measure out our hole for the sub, cut it out, and then we are ready to glue. We'll put everything together once and for all. Big enough. So close, dude. <laughs> Not big enough. I think I could probably force it down. Actually, yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna need to sand oh, this yeah. anyway. So we're gonna sand this thing out, and we'll be back when the thing actually fits. whole box together now and then we'll be moving on to fiberglass Push a little too fast and too hard, and uh, yeah. That'll help him. Elmer's has been making us proud since kindergarten. thing is we're gonna fiberglass all this up on the inside okay uh, if you want to know how to mix fiberglass and all that you're gonna have to watch my very first video I go through all that when I did the truck so we're just gonna fiberglass all the inside of this because MDF is very porous and if we fiberglass it it'll make it nice and smooth it'll make the air flow much easier it's gonna be amazing all right Let's get started. side and do all this. There it is.
just gotta let that dry now and we're ready to put the top on so we got this thing all fiberglassed up pick it up in the sun here. oh shit touch it I know you wanna touch it <laughs> Ready to put our top on. And yeah. Bananas. <laughs> Watch your angle when you guys are screwing your shit in, cause yeah, same over here. Couple boo boos, but that'll be all right. But we're gonna be wiring up the sub now. We're gonna be going two ohm. So we're gonna take positive, and stick it to positive, and then stick it to positive on the amp. Same thing with negative to negative, and then negative to the amp. It's as simple as that. So here we are. We've got our we're using the same color wire, but it's alright. It doesn't really matter at all, as long as you can use your brain. And then, we got them going down here. And mark these. This is temporary again. There will be a terminal cup there. And that's it. Now all I gotta do is set the uh, sub down in there and drill the holes for it. And then we are ready to bump. Is ready so what we're gonna do is since my car is all like electrically set up for a uh, for a sub from back in the day we just put his amp in there and wired it up and I got like a I got a, uh, a line-out converter installed and everything and all we got to do is hook up the speaker wires now and that's it and we're gonna take her for a spin for her uh, for her first um, how do you say what do you call this maiden voyage but it's not a ship <laughs> demo yeah for a first demo <laughs> first demo, demo.